Hi, I'm Remington. Installing a trailer hitch on your Hyundai Elantra can take you to a lot of fun places, like camping and biking. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer almost anywhere across North America. Let's break down the install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. The first step is to remove the appearance panel, which is done by removing these three push pins. And we'll remove four nuts with a 10 millimeter socket. The next step is to remove three push pins from the bottom of the bumper, here, here, and here, with a flat head screwdriver. The next step is to lower the muffler by removing these two rubber isolators. To remove the rubber isolators, we will use the exhaust pliers. The next step is to remove the rubber plug covering the access hole located here. Now we'll repeat on the other side. The next step is to trim the heat shield with the aviation snips. In order to make trimming easier, we will remove this bolt first. We will remove this with the 10 millimeter socket. The next step is to find the center of the bumper by measuring between these two points. I've marked out the bumper for trimming and we'll be using the air saw to make the cut. Our next step is to push the three bumper brackets out of the way. Brackets are located here, here, and here. Now that the vehicle is prepared to install the hitch, we can use our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to hold the hitch in place because some hitches can be very heavy. Rather than temporarily bolting the hitch in place, I'm gonna take a carriage bolt and mount it to the hitch only in the wrong direction so that the nut will locate the hitch in the proper place so we can drill our holes. So the bolt is gonna go in the forwardmost hole with the nut on top, and then the nut will hold the hitch still inside this hole so we can line it up for drilling. And now we're going to drill our holes. So we're gonna be drilling a hole with a half inch drill bit using our U-Haul inverted drill press. If you do not have an inverted drill press, you can use a standard drill. And now we'll repeat the same step on the passenger side. The next step is to remove the hitch and feed the bolts into the frame. So now we need to use our fish wire to feed the bolts into the frame. Push the plate in before the bolt.
The forward hole is a reverse fish wire, so you put the bolt and the plate on the fish wire before you put it into the frame. Insert the bolt, followed by the plate. And now we'll repeat the same step on the passenger side. Before we put the hitch back in place, we'll take the fish wires and feed it through the holes to help guide the bolts into the proper place. And now we're gonna remove the fish wire and attach the nut and the conical tooth washer, making sure that the teeth are facing the vehicle. And now we'll repeat the same step on the passenger side. And now we're going to tighten our bolts to the manufacturer specified torque using an 11 16 socket and a 5 inch extension. Because the brackets had to be moved out of the way that hold the bumper in place, we're going to be using zip ties to prevent any unwanted noise. Always be sure to trim the zip ties close to the body to prevent any sharp edges. And now we're ready to reinstall the muffler and the underbody appearance panel. With our hitch installed, we've pulled our vehicle down to level ground so we can get some important measurements. This is a one and a quarter inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is four and three quarter inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 11 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories such as bike tracks and cargo carriers. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, Visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.